On November 7, 2023, India successfully test-fired its very first tactical quasi-ballistic missile, named Prale. In Hindi, Prale translates to apocalypse, or to cause great destruction. This surface-to-surface -surface short range ballistic missile is comparable to other advanced systems like the American Precision Strike Missile or the Russian Iskander missile, featuring a similar range and performance profile. In fact, although not officially confirmed, the Prelay missile is reportedly an analog of Russia's Iskander quasi-ballistic missile, which has been notably utilized by the Russian armed forces in Ukraine. The Prelay alongside the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, is set to be a key component of India's planned rocket force, a strategic concept introduced by the former Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army. This rocket force is being developed primarily to address the growing military threats posed by China through enhancing India's ability to strike effectively across the region. But the Prale missile has also attracted interest from other countries, as we've reported recently, Armenia is considering acquiring the Prale to counter Azerbaijan's Israeli-made LoRa missile. For more on the LoRa missile, check out our review video linked in the description below. In today's video, however, we will explore the Prale missile's design, features, and its strategic implications for both India and Armenia. Let's dive right in. The Prale missile project began in 2015 as part of India's broader effort to enhance its tactical missile capabilities. It is a derivative of the Prahar missile program, which began in 2011. The Prahar missile was designed as a tactical battlefield support missile, capable of striking targets at ranges up to 150 kilometers. Building on the Prahar's technology, the Prale missile extends this range, and introduces several advanced features too. Developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization, the Prale missile was envisioned to fill the gap between India's existing short-range ballistic missiles and long-range strategic missiles. The Prale missile is a canisterized tactical missile, which means it is stored and launched from a sealed canister, offering ease of transport and launch readiness. It can strike targets from a distance of 150 to 500 kilometers, making it highly versatile for various combat scenarios. Its high accuracy, with a circular error probability of less than 10 meters, ensures precision strikes on enemy positions. Powered by a solid fuel rocket motor, the Prale missile can reach speeds of up to Mach 6.1 during its terminal phase. It carries a high explosive preformed fragmentation warhead with a weight ranging between 350 to 700 kilograms. The Prale missile also features advanced guidance systems, including an inertial navigation system for mid-course guidance and terminal guidance using electro-optical sensors, ensuring it can accurately engage both stationary and moving targets. Foreign missiles in the class of the Prale include China's Dongfeng-12 missile, Russia's Iskander missile, and South Korea's Hyunmu-2 missile. Many countries are developing new generations of SRBMs due to rising regional security dynamics. These missiles are favored for their effectiveness over short distances, relatively low cost, and ease of configuration. As we mentioned earlier, the Prale missile alongside the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile will now form the mainstay of India's rocket firepower. The BrahMos, known for its speed, precision, and versatility, complements the Prale by offering a different set of capabilities, such as supersonic speed and the ability to be launched from various platforms, including ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based launchers. But together, these missiles provide a comprehensive strike capability, enhancing India's ability to respond to a range of threats. India's planned rocket force aims to centralize and streamline the country's missile capabilities, creating a robust and responsive strike force. This force will be essential in maintaining a strategic edge over other regional adversaries, mainly China. 
Armenia, on the other hand, is seeking to acquire the Prale missile to counter the missile capabilities of Azerbaijan, which is armed with Israeli-made Lora ballistic missiles. This move is part of Armenia's broader strategy to diversify its defense procurements, moving away from traditional suppliers like Russia and strengthening ties with new partners, including India. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.